guys, this is the editor bringing you my first episode of Terror from a Craft, a tutorial for you guys who don't know how to play, and you will learn very shortly, so let us begin. Now, wherever you spawn, you will shortly see quite a bit of rocks, maybe of a different color, they'll have different names, this is andesite, it doesn't matter the name, so long as under the ground, you can pick them up, and just pick up a couple, you only need a couple. There we go. Now, once you have about 15, which we'll get right here shortly, you want to go and get some sticks, because unlike in vanilla Minecraft, you can't break down logs with your fist. So, we have to find some sticks. There's one right there. About 10 sticks is good. You're going to need a lot for your first couple of days. So, let's get these. Now, if you spawn somewhere without a lot of trees, go near um, a river shore, and there should be some sticks around there. But you're going to have to find some trees eventually, probably by your second day, because you can't, you can't progress much without them. We have some pigs. Now, animals are a lot rarer in this game and a lot harder to kill. They don't attack you, but they drop a lot of meat. So we'll go up right here. Five, we'll find some more later. Now, the next feature of this game is napping, which is basically like chipping off a rock. So, what you do, right, is you right click, and it's like a 5x5 five five area, and it's, it's sort of like crafting, although it's a little more realistic. You make the tools out of different shapes, so we're first going to make an axe. So, this is how you make it, right there there's an axe head so take a look at the shape we'll get the axe head and beautiful we have a stone axe now we can get some logs which are important for making a fire and cooking your food now tools are a little different they take a lot longer to work especially the stone ones but cuts on the tree in one piece so we have some white cedar logs. There's a lot of different trees in this mod. It's pretty cool. Breaking these down. So, the main goal of this mod, right, is to have the best tools, basically. Now, to get, um, to get, I, to get, um, any type of metal, it's a lot different. If you go down a cave, you're not gonna find much. You're probably not gonna find anything. Because ores in this game spawn a little differently. They spawn in huge clumps rather than like one here and one there. Just like in real life. So, there are three main ways to find metals. The first one, which we could do right now, is panning for uh, panning for metals. I'm just gonna get some more sticks here. Basically that's taking like a gold pan and I'll show you that later and basically finding metals in the water. The next way, right, is prospecting, which is after you find some metals using the gold pan near some water. Because to prospect, you need a prospector's pick, which can only be made out of a metal. So that's always the first step. The third way is finding it randomly in the world. Um, you could get, wow, there's a lot of pigs here. Now one thing to be aware of is that blocks, um, especially... You hear that noise? That was some, um, because we walked over some unsupported, uh, dirt, it fell over. So you have to be, ooh, we could, we could get some lunch right now. Beautiful. Now, let me show you how difficult it is to kill a pig and how much meat they drop, okay? So we're just gonna murder this pig, and look at that. So kill one pig if you find it, because, I mean... That's an amazing amount of food. You do not want to waste all that food because this little green bar is how much it's spoiling. Right now it has no spoil, but over time it will spoil. So don't worry guys, I'll go over um, all of these sacks with you again and again so you remember them. Now we're going to make a shovel now. Pretty basic. Just take off the sides. 
and you have a shovel head. So, again, you always use a stick for the um, little tool thing. And we have a shovel. The next sort of business is to find some clay. Now, um, clay is the next uh, step, basically, in your journey to metal. Uh, two ways to find clay near a river or special flowers that grow near the clay. So we're just gonna walk along till we find some clay. Not there. Ooh, that's a nice. Is that a fruit tree? Yep, yeah, this is a fruit tree. We'll we'll explore that a bit later. Let's see any clay. Squids, they might look tempting to kill in your first day, don't they? You drop so little meat and they're so difficult to kill that you probably lose more calories killing them than the food you get. Let's see. Uh, not much clay around here, sadly. Oh, there's some clay. Now, if you see a flower, right, that looks like this, ooh, you see this is some ore naturally found beautiful so we have some copper nuggets so back to my point if you find a flower like this but a little different a yellow top clay is probably under there so just dig a little bit below it so there's some copper this is hematite no this is bismuth bismuthite that is used to make bronze bronze is tier two copper is tier one we don't we don't want it to break. So let's get our let's get our clay right here. It looks like that. Now you're gonna need a lot of clay here it's for anything you have to do. Let's see if there's some more out of the water. A stack of clay shall shall do you good. Let's see how much we have. 12. Yeah. Sadly, this is... Uh... Now, see? Dirt falls, just like sand. Makes an awesome noise. Also, cobblestone does the same thing. Stone will, but not... It, it takes a... Like, if it's just floating in the air, it will fall. But it's a little harder to make it fall. So let's just get some more clay. Beautiful. Now, when it's nighttime, I'll review all these sacks with you. If you didn't catch one, don't worry. I'm just going quickly because we don't want to be stranded out in the night. Oh, one thing I forgot to make is a knife. Now that's how you make two knives. You see, one here, one here. You could cut this out and only make one, but it's a clever trick. So we'll save one knife blade in case that one breaks. And what you want to do is cut down some grass. Okay? Get a stack around. Uh, 31. Ooh, some more bismuthite. However you pronounce it, I do not care on searchingdictionary.com. Oh, that's just some music. I'll just turn that down. It's nice music, but it kinda... It's kind of distracting. Let's get some beautiful... Oh, one more thing to note. The red bar is your health. The green bar is your food. And the... The uh, blue bar is water. You see this, these reeds? That means it's fresh water. Go in, slowly fill up. There's an easier way to drink water. You see that seaweed? That means it's salt water. If you go there, you can't drink it. So if you go in water and this isn't going up, that is salt water. That's an important fact to note. And the sun is going down, and we do not have enough clay. But we're going to settle around here because of all the gravel, and I'll tell you what that important that is important for. Now, why don't we go on that center island? 
Now, this is salt water, because our water isn't going up, we can tell that. So, what to do when the sun is setting? First thing, get your sticks, and craft some fire starter. Then, pick a spot, throw three sticks in there, here, let's get them right there, one, two, three, and hold right click on there. There you go, you have a nice fire. Um, get your logs, fill it up, and we can start cooking our food. Delicious. Now, y what you could do with the uh, straw, right, is make blocks, which are a good starter shelter to protect yourself from mobs, but I won't do that unless I see some mobs coming at me. So, we have our cooked poultry. Now, food degrades, and you see there's some decay. You just put the decay there, put your knife in it, and it cuts off the decay. Now, something to note about decay is that if it's 0.1 decay, it decays slower than if it were 50% decayed. To put that in more terms, imagine each, uh, it's like a zombie infection. One zombie will affect another person, like, let's say once every four hours, but if there's a hundred zombies, they will infect uh, more people per hour, or whatever, if you know what I mean. So keep the decay down, and it'll last longer. So we're gonna have some lunch. I mean dinner. Delicious. Uh, food um, is, like, instead of just consuming it in one bite, it has ounces, and you consume certain amount of ounces per um, chomp. Let's see, we have her. Let's cook all of this. Now, let's take her clay and let's make a clay vessel. Make about three of these. Awesome. And now we will make this. Actually, we'll make that later. It's um, it's a bit different. Now, we can see we have our raw pork cooking. We ran out of logs. They go rather quickly. Different logs um, are better for, like, different logs make the fire become hotter. Um, I'm not sure which is best. Oh, my God. We have our first. Let's see. Our axe. Our axe. Come on. Okay. Enemies are a lot different in this game. I have a lot more health. We're just gonna have to battle this guy to death. Oh my god. Okay. Sweet. Mobs can also see farther. Now, the next thing we're gonna want to do is find the hole, right? Dig one block down. Make sure it's surrounded. There is no empty space, right? It's completely surrounded. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay. Oh, shoot. He has a weapon. Um. Okay. Aban- Okay, we're gonna have to abandon ship. Shoot. See you later, suckas. Okay. So. It's a little more important to build a shelter than I thought. And there's a guy right there. Okay, shoot. We're gonna have to run for it. And there's a skeleton. Oh, you see these flowers? These are the flowers I'm talking about. There's a whole bunch of clay under here. Oh my god, it's a javelin guy. Okay, we're, we're making a run for it. So do not do this, guys. <laughs> I thought I would be safe in the center island. So build some... There's an enderman. Build some little defense thing. Okay, we're gonna block ourselves up here. There we go. We are safe now, and there's the enderman right there. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for day. I will see you guys when that happens.